dispensationalism, or futurism, was originally founded by two Jesuit priests named Francisco Ribera and Robert Bellarmine, in the mid-1500s. At the Council of Trent, the Jesuits were commissioned by the Pope to destroy Protestantism, and bring the people back to the Mother Church. However, the Inquisition and torture used by the Roman Church only convinced Protestants that Papal Rome was indeed the beast or Antichrist that would make war with the saints. These Jesuits were determined to develop a new interpretation of Scripture that would counteract the Protestant application to the Roman Church. Like Luther and the other reformers, these Jesuit scholars read the prophecies about the Antichrist, but they came to different conclusions than that of the reformers. This viewpoint quickly became the official Roman Catholic position on the Antichrist, and has now become the modern viewpoint of Protestantism today. Ribera and Bellamine declared that, the prophecies of Daniel and Revelation would not be fulfilled until the very last days, when, for 2300 literal days, or about seven years, an Antichrist would appear. Another Jesuit by the name of Manuel Lacunza, also wrote about prophecy from a futurist viewpoint. Lacunes had taught that Jesus returns not once, but twice, and at the first stage of his return, he raptures his church, so they can escape the reign of the future Antichrist. This movement, was popularized most notably by John Nelson Darby in the 1800s. Darby is known as the father of modern futurism, or dispensationalism. This religious sect, also known as the Plymouth Brethren, first appeared around 1830 in Plymouth, England. He developed his own idea of the secret rapture around 1838, but was largely influenced by the teachings of Miss Margaret MacDonald. Cyrus Schofield, who was influenced by Darby and the Plymouth Brethren, published the Schofield Reference Bible in 1909, and it fast became a widely distributed and influential text that promoted the teaching of the secret rapture, gaining it wide acceptance among Protestants. However, the first book to really bring futurism to the masses was a book entitled The Late Great Planet Earth, which has sold more than 35 million copies, and was written by Hal Lindsey in 1970. This book spawned a billion-dollar end times industry, whose books and videos repeat this dispensational theme and a pattern after Lindsey's novel writing style. Most notably is the best-selling fiction book series written by Tim LaHaye and Jerry Jenkins, that has also been transformed into three Hollywood movies. It has become as successful as the Harry Potter book series, and just as profitable. Lindsay teaches that Antichrist is one man, and not a kingdom as the Bible declares. That this Antichrist would be an atheist or infidel, originating outside of Christianity, and not from within that he will not be revealed until seven years before the end of time. That the Christians are hindering his appearance, but will be caught up, or raptured to heaven, so that he can be revealed. That he would sit in a rebuilt temple in Jerusalem, and make a seven-year covenant with the Jewish people, but three and a half years into his reign he will break his covenant, persecute the Jews, conquer the world, and finally be destroyed by Christ in a literal battle, called Armageddon and that after the seven years of tribulation are over, the raptured ones will return, and reign with Christ for a thousand years of peace on earth. Many believe, that Lindsay is actually a Jesuit in disguise, as two of his daughters are recorded as being 1985 graduates of Gonzaga University, a well-known Jesuit school. Luis Alcazar, another fellow Jesuit, and contemporary of Ribera, Bellamine, and Lacunza, founded the less popular and opposite position, known as Preterism. In this teaching, the prophecies of Daniel and Revelation were fulfilled in ancient times, by Antiochus Epiphanes, Nero, and all pagan Rome. Both of these interpretations were created by the Roman Church, to hide the truth of who the vicious blasphemous little horn actually was. Historicism, as was believed and taught by the Protestant reformers, is the belief that biblical prophecies about the little horn, the man of sin, the Antichrist, the beast, and the Babylonian harlot of Revelation 17, all apply to the developing history of Christianity, and to the ongoing struggle between Jesus Christ and Satan, within the church, culminating at the end of time. Historicism sees these prophecies as having a direct application to Papal Rome, a system whose doctrines are a denial of the New Testament message of free salvation by grace, through simple faith in Jesus Christ. 
in direct opposition to historicism, are these Jesuit viewpoints of futurism and preterism, which teach that, the Antichrist prophecies have nothing to do with the history of Papal Rome, rather, they apply to only one sinister man who comes at the end of time, or one sinister man of history. These doctrines originated within the Roman Catholic Church itself, making them the very doctrines of Antichrist.